The success of a movie paves the way for a sequel, but the process isn't a walk in the park for the producers or the creative team. Financial backing can be a challenge, as can be finding inspiration for a fresh script that will match the quality of the first. It's been some eight years since the internationally successful Material was released, and the good news is that Material 2 is on its way. Kriya met up with Riyad Musa and Mela's own Zach and Karishma in between takes on set. And here's a peek of what to expect from the new movie. Indian people, we keep gadgets for 40 years. Zulfa Fora. That's the one. Remember how she used to make stuff up? Like a mosquito. Lovely <laughs> food. I'm Zulfa. I'm an I'm idiot. While there was a lot to laugh at in material, the movie also tackled some serious real-life issues, which resonated with viewers from a broad cross-section of cultural backgrounds and age groups. Its international success gave a significant boost to the local film industry. We are seriously going places. Don't say. Africans have such great stories to tell that we can all relate to. And when they finally make it to the big screen, they're a roaring success. That's exactly what happened with Material, a movie based on the life of Riyad Musa. And today, we find ourselves on the set of Material 2 with a few familiar faces. Once again set in Fordsburg, the sequel picks up the story of comedian Kasim Cave, his wife Zulfa and their families and friends. Robbie, thank you so much for having us on the set of Material 2. Tell me a little bit more about the film and where are we going this time around? We pick it up a few years later and Kasim, the character that's played by Riyad Musa, is married with a family, but he's still trying to be a stand-up comedian. So is it sort of the tension between the family and his occupation? Maybe one's just a bit older and wiser and has sort of a new set of problems to overcome. <laughs> I draw a lot on my personal experiences mm. in the film. So uh, once again, I called upon uh, Craig Frymont to help me with the technical side of things and I mean, help with creating the drama is truly talented in that. I'm so tired of hearing the same story over and over and over again, Cass. All I care about right now is having my family together. Do you realize how big this thing is? What was it like creating this movie? Because you wrote it and you're kind of involved in directing it. I just was sort of inspired to write something based on the earlier story and explore the darker side, the dangers that the father foresaw for Kasim if he embarked on a journey into this world of comedy. What are you hoping that audiences take home after watching the movie? I hope that it'll reflect their own lives and the challenge in fulfilling personal ambition versus family responsibility. Coming back to Material is honestly a blast from the past. We are in the exact same house with mostly a lot of the same crew. So it is literally like I was transported back, except I am a little bit older, even in the show. What I care about right now Kes, is my family being together. It's two weeks so far. Zulfa is Kasim Kaif's wife, was his girlfriend. Now they're married and they have a beautiful little daughter. It feels like the family's all been on an extended little holiday and the family has kind of gone on and evolved and changed this dynamic. I love Karishma and I love Zach, but of course in the movie, Karishma and I have this bit of sort of tussle for the son and husband's affection, so I believe I must tell her what to do and how things should be done, and we clash a lot about that. All I ever do is try and help you, and this is how I get treated. A lot of people say, when I watched material, <laughs> it felt real. So we want to take that through into the sequel as well. <laughs> Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the movie's release may have to be rescheduled. But when it does hit the big screen, it will be just what we need.